bless you. The Lord is faithful. Time for some time for the word of the word of the Lord. <coughs> bless the Lord at all times, and His praises shall continuously be in my mouth. The word of the Lord and the Lord should be coming out of your mouth most of the time. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Then you're human. Sometimes other things come out. <laughs> Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Help us, Lord. Help us. Help us. Help us, God. The Lord will help you if you help yourself. Glory to God. He'll help you if you help yourself. We get, we, we're, we're human beings and we be tempted. And it wasn't God that tempted you. It was the devil. It was demons that tempted you and you did it. And the reason why you did it is because you love darkness rather than light. And whatever tempts you and you do it, that's the thing that God wants to remove from your soul. Remove from you. You must go. And everybody got something that needs to, that needs to be removed. Some of us are holding on to some of the some of the stuff that we love to hold on to, but you gotta let it go in order for you to go to the next level. In order for God to bless you the way that He wants to bless you, you're gonna have to let it go. A matter of fact, let me just say this: you gotta keep it real. You know, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. In order to make it into heaven, in order to make it into heaven, you're gonna have to pass that test. And because as long as the devil know that he can keep tempting you in that in that one or two things that you love and you can't let go, it, you know, them two, three, them two to three strongholds that you can't pull down, pull down, or them strongholds that you can't cast down, cast down imagination and pull down strongholds. The devil's tempting, right? He's tempting, tempting you, and then we fall to it. There's some things that we fall to. It. And it's not a mistake. Because we keep doing it. It's not a mistake. It's a stronghold. Yes, the Lord has delivered you from many things, but then he wants to deliver you from that too, whatever that is. Whatever that stronghold is that's attacking, that's attacking the mind or the body, attacking the soul. But the devil keep tempting you with that strength, that same stronghold. And eventually you're going to have to either you, either you, going to submit to God completely and give it away and do what you got to do to, to defeat that or you're going to die with that you're going to die in that sin so we got to get rid of it in order to make it into the kingdom of God yeah what? without spot and without blemish we got to get rid of it yeah and we can't say that we, we, we can't say that it cannot be done because all things is possible all things is possible with God. God has the power to do it. So when you say you can't do it, that's a lie because God has delivered you from God has delivered you from most things. And you know it was God that did it. And if God delivered you from those things, then you know it is possible. You just don't want to let go of that one thing or two things or three things that you love. But God wants it all. He wants A L L all of you, all right? All of you. He wants to. That's, see, that's what's gonna make you complete. That's what. That's what perfects us. God cleaning us out, <clears throat> all right? From all those wicked things that we love. Whatever it is, you gotta let it go. You know, you want to make it into heaven? Then guess what? You gotta let it go. If you don't want to make it into heaven, then continue doing it. Yeah, continue doing what you do if you don't, if you don't mind dying and going to hell. But that's eventually what happens is God wants that. He don't want it because that became your God. Whatever it is became your God. And you can't go no further in Christ because that, tempta that temptation has took over you because you allowed it. You allowed, see, temptation is when you allow access, when you open up a door, demonic door, to your soul, you open up a door, and it becomes when you open up a door, it's a stronghold that attaches to you because you love it. That sin becomes a stronghold, and you don't and you don't pull it down, and you don't cast down imagination. We allow it. Some of us got that. Some of us got many of them. 
And we got to let it go. Yes, the Lord delivered you from this. He delivered you from that. He delivered you from whatever it was. But he also wants to deliver you from that. The thing that you love. Jesus. The Lord wants to deliver you. It's just, it's just no plain and simple. It's just, that's just the way that it goes. And guess what? And we need to hear these type of messages because that little prosperity message, that little sugar coated message, that little, that little, you know, money message, finance message, this is that's not gonna help you when temptation come up. Jesus. Listen, we gotta keep it real. We gotta keep it real with ourselves, man. We need the gospel. We need holiness. Yes, that's what's gonna help us. That's why a lot of folks is messed up now. Yeah, inspirational word, right? It's not gonna help you. This is gonna help you. This is gonna help your soul. And people don't understand why what's going on. Why can't I beat this? Well, you got to pray more. Well, you got to fast more. You need to fast. You need to pray. You need to study. You need to get in with God. Yes. You got to have a relationship with him so that he can help you, help you fight off that temptation. Jesus. You got to be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Hallelujah. Yeah. You gotta you gotta study to show that self approved. You gotta do what you need to do. A lot of people put up scriptures, but they don't know Lord. They don't know the Lord. A lot of people put up scriptures and they're dealing with massive strongholds. But we need God, right? To help us to defeat that stronghold so that we can go to the next level in Christ. Yes, Lord. There's a level that God wants to bring you to, and He can't bring you to that next level. Right? You can't bring it to that next level because that stronghold that you're carrying around is devious. Yes, Jesus. Right? And he can't use you as long as you love something more than him. Right? So God wants to get rid of the temptations. Well, the temptations he's not going to get rid of, but he wants to get rid of the spirit that comes along with it. You're going to have to fight the temptation. Yes, Lord. You're going to have to do it. You're going to have to say no, and then God gets the glory. Well, God will give you the help and the tools to do it, but you're going to have to say no. You're going to have to say no. It's a choice. Put it like that. That's the choice. That's the, that's the work right there. The work is the choice. You get to choose, right? Yeah. It's up to you Jesus. what you want to do. You want to take it because you see, you love darkness. You love darkness rather than light. You want the Lord to deliver you from the things that, 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 that you don't mind him delivering you from, but some things you just don't want God to touch. Yes, Lord. But you got to allow the Lord to touch that. Yeah, yes. he got to touch that area in your life. That's a stronghold. You got to surrender it all to the Lord. Jesus. You got to. Ain't no ands and buts about it. We can't sugarcoat it, right? Yes, Lord. And that's why folks say the Bible contradicts itself. No, it doesn't contradict itself. It, it contradicts you. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Convicts it convicts you. Yeah. Yes, Lord. It touches your sins. Yes, Lord. So instead of us repenting, or instead of us turning to the Lord God Almighty, we blame the Bible and say that it's contradicting us. No, it's not contradicting us. You must turn from your sin. You must repent. You must live holy. You Lord must be Jesus. sanctified. Jesus. Yeah, sanctified life. Jesus. You must be just. Yes. You Lord. must be pure. He didn't have pure hands, clean hands, and a pure heart. Yes. You gotta Lord. have a pure heart and clean hands. A lot of us don't want that. We are tempted. And some of us love to be evil. Some of us love to be mean. Some of us love to be racist. Some of us love the fornication. We Jesus. love the pornography. We love to get drunk. We love it. We love it. We love it. We love sin. We don't want to let it go. So then we say stupid things like the Bible contradicts itself. Right? But all his actions is that we live holy. Trust the Lord and live holy. And yes. that we love. Right? Love, love, love. And get filled with compassion and joy and peace, right? But we don't want that. We want drama and mess. We want the things that the tempter, the temper, right? The one that tips you, give us. We love it. We love what he has to offer. We love it. And we take it, right? But we're going to learn on today. We're going to learn a little bit about it, right? What helps us, right? James 1. James 1. 12 to the 15, then we're done. 12 to 15. Yeah, you can't beat that. Four, four verses, four verses. But there's so much power in these four verses, right? James 1 and 12. Those that follow. Those that want to go over it. Jesus. Those that want to be blessed. Here you go. James 1 and 12 says, Blessed is the man that endured temptation. Look at that. 
That's this. This is what a blessed man is. A lot of y'all so carnal money. Y'all think a man blessed because he got a he got a mega church. Jeez. A lot of y'all so the devil got some of y'all so blind. Y'all think because the bishop got money, he's blessed. You think because a person got a thousand members, he's blessed. He got a mansion, he's blessed. No, the Bible says blessed is the man that endured temptation. That's blessed. Yes. Yeah, not what you think is blessed. We got we got it twisted. Yeah, blessed is well is the man that endured temptation. The man that when he's tempted, he endured he endured through it. Yes. That's why it says he that endured to the end shall be what? Saved. saved. You gotta endure. You can't endure through that temptation, you won't be saved. You won't be saved. It just won't happen. You won't make it in. You gotta endure through the temptation. That's how you. That's how we on. That's how we know we love Christ. Yes. And that's how Christ knows we love Him. Jeez. Yeah. See, so you love Christ by enduring, enduring the temptation, going through it, beating Him. When the tempter comes, you know exactly how to beat Him. Yes. For when He is tried, which means when you're tried, when you're tested, He shall receive the crown of life. Ain't that so? Which the Lord had promised to them that love him. See, you love him. And when you tried and you passed the temptation and you and you beat the test, yes, God gives you a crown of life. Hallelujah. And I'm not talking about this life what we have now. This, 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 not listen, forget this life. We're talking about everlasting yes, life. He gives you a crown of life. Yeah, this is what you get, everlasting life. And, and then you'll be a liar. You'll be a liar if you said you didn't care about life. But then why are you living? Yes, Lord. Why do you want to live? Why are you here? Glory. Everyone, everyone, no matter how much the devil has their mind blocked with darkness, enjoys life. Yes. Yeah, and would love to enjoy life and that much more abundantly. And Christ gives it. He gives us, he promises, a promise to them that love him. Now, if you love him and you endure the temptation, right, that comes upon us, Right? And when you are tested, tried, tested, he shall receive what? The crown of life. Jesus. That's how you get it. And good glory to God. That's what I want. It feels like every time you something comes up that's from the past and you beat it, crown of life. It feels good. Yes, Lord. You come out your room shouting. You don't know why a person shouting or speaking in tongues. Jesus. You don't know what they just beat. Yes, Lord. Right? You beat it. Instead of su succumbing to it. Instead of succumbing to it. Thank right? you, Jesus. Yeah, a lot of times I succumb. A lot of times I fell. A lot of times I told God. You know how many times I told God personally? Sorry and I'll never do it again. Yes. And did it anyway. Jesus. You know, each time I say, Lord, this time, God, with your strength, with your might, I'm going to do it. Yes. Lord. You got to keep pushing and keep fighting to beat the devil. Got to. Jesus. You got to pass it. You got to pass it. I know you love whatever it is. You love it. You don't want to let that. You don't want to let that sin go. Because you love it. Yes. You love it. With everything in your heart, you love it. But you got to stop loving it. You got to start hating it. Hate it. Hate what God hates. Jesus. And that's when you'll be blessed. Because blessed is the man that endured temptation. For when he is tried... He shall receive the crown of life. Yes, Lord. Which the Lord has promised to them that love him. And God has promised. And we believe it. By faith, we believe it. And faith is hearing God. Yes, Lord. Faith. It ain't what a lot of a lot of sugar coat will tell you a whole bunch of things what faith means. Faith. It comes by hearing. Jesus. Hearing by the word of God. Jesus. That's faith. Yes, With scripture. Lord. Now, yes, faith, then, so what is faith? Then faith is when God says something, we receive it and believe it Jesus. and do it just like he said do. Yes, Lord. We believe it. Yeah, so we believe that promise. The promise is to them that love him. It's a promise. And we love him. That's why we endure the temptation. It says, let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. No, yes, God did not tempt you. No, God and no man can't say that. You lie. God didn't tempt you with evil. 
God would never tempt you with evil. God would test you, but God would never tempt you with evil. It says, I, it, says, it says, let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil. Jesus. He cannot. Amen. It cannot. It will, cannot and it will not happen. It cannot. God cannot be tempted. He, God will pass every time. Huh? Yes, Lord. As a son, God doesn't do, yeah. right? Neither tip of he any man. Now, neither do God tip of any man with evil. Jesus. God ain't going to tip you with evil. Hallelujah. Jesus. Now, he allowed the test to happen so that you could see you. Yes. But some of us think we got it all together until we're tempted. Some of us think we're holier than thou until we get tempted. Mm. Some of us think we can't fall oh, until you get tempted. Jesus. Some of us think we got it all together. We got it together. Nothing shall break us until you get tempted. And then God will show you in your prideful self, because you're prideful, full of, full of zeal, full of vain. Huh? And God will show you that you are human and that you have problems. Yes, and that you need God to help you in this area. God will show you. So that's why it's, that's why it's, it's, it's good not to judge, but allow God's word to judge. Let the word of God do the judging. Because when you start pointing fingers and you start judging, you fall. Yes, Lord. <laughs> That's scripture. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, gotta, you got your own plank. Jesus. In your own eye. And need to be fixed. You got your own temptations. You got your own lust. Right? Your own lustful desires that, 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 that's, that's falling away in certain areas. Mm. But we quick to point out other ones. Huh? My God. But it says, I am tempted of God, for God cannot be tempted with evil. Neither tip of he any man. God can't tip any man with evil. So we got to be careful. Huh? We got to be careful. We got we to gotta stay strong. We got to trust in the law. We got to stay firm. We got to stay rooted and grounded. We got to stay planted. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, we got to. We got to yes. stay knitted together. Yes, we got to. And then we got to help one another. Jesus. That's what love is about, helping yes, one Lord. another. Hallelujah. Yeah, Glory right? Together. Helping one another. Glory let's, go, let's go to the right field real quick with this. Helping one another, like love. There's two types of loves. Yes, Lord. Hope y'all hear me. You might want to write this down, right? Because it's a good one. There's two types of love. There's the love that comes from the world. That the love, a love of the world, and then there's a love that God gives you. Glory to God. Now, the love from the world will abandon you. Jesus. Once it wants to get upset. The love of the world is temporal. Yes, Lord. Doesn't last. The love of the world will judge you, condemn you, and beat you down. Love of the world. Love of the world will never forgive you. Holds yes, on to Lord. grudges. Yes. The love of the world cannot and will not succeed. But the love of God, this is what people are missing. The love of God is full of compassion. Yes, Lord. It's gentle. Hallelujah. It's meek. Jesus. It's faithful. Jesus. Just. Faithful. See, the love of the world is it's 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 everlasting. And love of the, see, I mean, the love of God, the love of God, it forgives. Yes, Lord. Gentle. It has compassion. Hallelujah. Let me say this again. It forgives. Jesus. Right? See, the love of the world doesn't forgive. Thank you, Lord. It doesn't forgive, and it feels like it should not forgive. But the Father said, if you do not forgive, my God. He said, my Father, Jesus said, my Father, Jesus. which is in heaven, will not forgive you. Yes, Lord. But for some reason, we still say we love folks. We love, but how do you love anyone if you have not forgiven? Jesus. Love forgives. See, 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 one thing, see, the love of the world loves temporal. Oh, I've been raped. I hate that person. They'll never forgive them. Yes, Lord. I've been molested. They'll never forgive them. Jesus. See, that type of love, huh? Love of God forgives all. Yes, Lord. Hope y'all hear me. 
Yes, Lord. The love of God forgives all. It says, love thy neighbor. Yes, Lord. Love Jesus. them that hate you. See, God's love is different. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus, they don't want this type of message. It's different, my God. My God. Then the world Hallelujah. love. So much different. And then when God teaches you to love like him, Jesus. you become a whole different person. You see things differently. You see Thank things you. through the eyes of God, not through the eyes of the world. Yeah, so could we be in the world, we in the flesh. We're looking through the eyes of the world, not the eyes of God. And when you look at things with the eyes of God, you're not dealing with flesh and blood. You'll learn how to forgive like Christ, like how God the Father has forgiven yes. us. Hallelujah, Jesus. He forgave us so much that he sent his only begotten son into the world. What a mighty God Thank you, Jesus. we serve. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And he didn't just die for the, he didn't die for the perfect folks. He came and died and shed that blood on Calvary yes, for Lord. the child molesters. Yes, Lord. For the murderers. Yes, Lord. For the rapists. Jesus. For the mentally ill. Jesus. The robbers. The thieves. He shed blood for the lost. And then he found the lost and he brought them into the fold and yes, changed their mind and heart, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. That's a love. My Thank God, you, I can feel his spirit. Thank you, Jesus. That's love. Thank you, Lord. And Hallelujah. if you don't have that love in you, you will not make it in. That's the love we are striving to become, the love that God is trying to show his people. And if you don't have that love, I don't care how much you preach, Jesus. how much you shout, yes, how Lord. much you speak in tongues, how many Jesus. titles you have, you don't have loved. Lord, My God, I, I told you we're going to go to the right. Now we're going back. Boom. But every man is tempted when he is drawn the way of his own lust. This is why you tempted. You get tempted. See, you see, every man is tempted when he is drawn away. Now, the devil is the tempter, and you get tempted because he offers it, right? And guess what draws you away? Your own lust. Wasn't the devil. He didn't make you do it. He didn't make you do Jesus. it. You did it. Jesus. You were drawn away by your own lust. And the Bible says, and enticed. That means you love it. You say, devil, when the devil break it to you, you be like, devil, I need some more. Mm. The devil bring you that pornography, you be like, Lord, come on, bring me some more pornography. Glory to God. Bring me some more women, some more men. Bring it to me, devil. I love it. Ooh, you start shaking in your flesh because you love it so much. Huh? Drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Man and woman are drawn away by their own lust. Yes, Lord. No, it wasn't a mistake. You loved it. Confess to the Lord and say, Lord, it's me. No, you didn't. No, it wasn't a mistake. No such thing as a mistake. Yeah, you had, you did it. Yeah, you loved it. And you need deliverance. Yes, Lord. Strong deliverance. And the Lord will deliver you. Right? But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. You loved it. You drawn the way. You loved whatever it was and you took it from the devil. And the strange thing about it, once you take it, look what happens. Then when lust hath conceived, oh my God, once the lust in your heart has conceived what the devil offered, my God, it bringeth forth sin. Jeez. Oh my God. That's what sin is. Oh. My God. Somebody said, what is sin? Well, sin is when the devil brings it to you. Yes, Lord. And you receive it. You conceive it. Once you receive what the devil offers, you become a sinner. Mm, Jesus. Because it brings forth sin. 
And then when you hold on to whatever the devil has to offer, because everything the devil offers is temporal. My God. Everything the devil offers, it's its death. Everything the devil offers, it rots. It worms in it. Everything the devil offers, it just doesn't last. My God. This is what people don't know. Because it says once you conceive it, it bring forth sin. Now you got sin on you. Jesus. And when sin is on you, it says when it is finished bringing forth the sin, the Bible says it brings forth death. Ain't that something? Glory to God. So that's why it is absolutely imperative to ask God to forgive you. And to deliver your soul. Jesus. Because each time we take what the devil has to offer, it tampers with our soul. And the deliverance process has to take place. Because if that sin stay in you, you continue doing that joint, it brings forth death. Yes, not life, not joy. Not peace, but death. And I know I say, Lord, I know I don't want death on me. I don't want that spirit on me. I don't want death on me. I don't want it on me, God. So I confess. Jesus. Glory to God. You got to learn how to confess and then try your best, your very best. Yes, Lord. To read, to study, to fast, to pray, and stay with God. Yes, Lord. Because these are the times and days that we need him. More than anything else in this world. God bless you all. I love you all. I hope you all enjoyed this teaching. And I hope you all have a wonderful night. God bless you. I love you.